For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this easy but time consuming problem. If the bucket and its contents have a total weight of 20 pounds, find the uh, force in the supporting cables DA, DB, and DC. So they want you to find the tension on each of these cables. So basically, what you need to understand is you have four univectors. We got univector going towards C, univector going towards A, univector going towards B, and the univector going towards the bucket, which is holding the weight of the bucket. And you know that the bucket weights 20 pounds. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find all the points involved because we need to find the univectors. So to do that, let's find the points involved. The points involved are A, B, C, and D. So A sits at 4.5 in the I, plus 0 in the J, plus 3 in the K. B sits at 1.5 in the I, plus 0 in the J, plus 0 in the K. C sits at 0 in the I, plus 2.5 in the J, plus 3 in the K. And D sits at 1.5 in the I, plus 1.5 in the J, <coughs> plus 0 in the K. So, we need to find the univectors, the A, univector DB, univector DC, and the last univector is a univector for the bucket. These are the four univectors that we need to find. So let's start with DA. To find univector DA, you need to find vector that goes from D to A first, which is found by subtracting D from A. And this is 3 in the I, minus 1.5 in the J, plus 3 in the K. Then you need to find the magnitude of DA. And this magnitude is found by doing the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. So 3, 1 1.5 and 3, all of them square added together. And then you square root the result. And you get that the magnitude is equal to 4.5. And then you can find the univector DA by dividing the vector dA by its magnitude and it comes out to be 0.667 in the i minus 0.333 in the j plus 0.667 in the k univector dB which is the second one which is found the first one you, you can go through all these motions, but it's very easy to do because it's going straight to the left. It's going straight in the negative j direction, parallel to the y. So the univector is simply minus 1 in the j and 0 on the both of the other directions. Univector dc, you find it by going through the same motions. You find the vector that goes from d to c by subtracting d from c, and you get minus 1.5 in the i plus 1 in the j, plus 3 in the k. Then you need to find the magnitude of dc, like we did the one before, uh, squaring each of the components and then square rooting the result. And you get that the magnitude is equal to 3.5. And then univector dc is found by dividing dc by its magnitude, and it comes out to be minus 0.429 in the i, plus 0.286 in the j, plus 0.857 in the K. So now we have the V and the C. And the one for the bucket is easily found again, the univector for the bucket, easily found again because it's going straight down, which is parallel to the C axis. In other words, it's minus 1K. So now that you find all the univectors, I'll turn the page. What you need to do is you need to multiply them by the magnitudes of the forces of the cables. Magnitudes of the forces of the cables. So let's start with dA. dA times the univector dA comes out to be 0.667 times dA in the I minus 0.333 times dA in the J 
plus 0.667 times dA in decay. dV times univector dB is equal to 0 in the I minus dB in the J plus 0 in the K. dC times univector dC is equal to minus 0.429 dC in the I plus 0.286 dC in the J plus 0.857 dc in the k. And last, there is the weight of the bucket times the univector of the bucket, which is going straight down on the c direction, which is 0 on the i plus 0 on the j minus 20 pounds in the k. Then you know that when you add this together, you get 0 in the i plus 0 in the j plus 0 in the k because the system is in equilibrium and this book after all is called statics. So you can form your equations now. In the i, you got to do, do is add the i's together. 0.667 dA plus 0 minus 0.429 is equal to 0. So 0.667 dA minus 0.429 dc is equal to 0. In the j, you know that minus 0.333 dA minus dB plus 0.286 dc is equal to 0. And in the k, you know that 0.667 dA plus 0.857 dc minus 20 is equal to 0. So we got our three equations now and three variables. So we can solve the system of equations using a little algebra. Let's call this equation 1, this equation 2, and this equation 3. <coughs> and let me turn the page. So I'm going to write equation 1 right here. Just rewrite equation 1, guys. Nothing complicated. 0.667 dA minus 0.429 dc is equal to 0. Then I'm going to rewrite equation 3, but I'm going to multiply it by negative 1. And I'm going to get that it is equal to negative 0.667 dA minus 0.857 dc. And over here it will be plus 20, but I'm going to write the plus 20 at the other side of the equation as minus 20. Then I'm just going to add these two together. And as you can see, the dA's cancel out, and you get here minus 1.286 dC is equal to negative 20. So you solve for dC, and you get that dC is equal to 15.6 pounds. Then you plug this into equation 1, and you solve for dA, and you get that dA is equal to 10 pounds. And then you plug in these two values into equation 2 and you solve for dB, and you get that dB is equal to 1.13 pounds. Final answer for dC, for dA, and for dB. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems, and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.